Healthcare.gov opens for enrollment tomorrow. Most people who do nothing will be automatically enrolled in the same plan they had this year or a similar one. It may or may not cost more. But if you need new coverage or want to change plans, now is the time to log on. The government promises this year there are more options and it won't take as long to enroll. And for some people, that'll go from what was 76 screens down to 16 screens. So it's a much more user-friendly process. The site's undergone five weeks of testing compared to just 10 days last year. The government's trying to get the word out, especially to low-income families, to update their information because the subsidy Washington provides to help pay for your insurance could be more or less if your financial situation has changed. If they want to get the proper subsidy amount that they that they are eligible for for next year, they need to go back into their health care exchange and update their information or confirm their information because that's the only way to calculate what they should be getting for next year. Obamacare is one of the hottest issues on Capitol Hill. The new Republican Congress wants to get rid of it. Virtually all of us would like to see it pulled out root and branch. President Obama says he will not sign off on repealing the Affordable Care Act. That's not something that he will um, let happen. A political drama unfolding as millions go online again to find a more affordable way to see a doctor. Tracy Potts, NBC News, Washington.